Welcome to another edition of The Angry Craftsman. Today we're going to be conducting some experiments with changing of airflow or the air pressure coming out of a 4 inch nozzle on our Thunder Laser 51130. So what I've done is I've got an American Photonics 4 inch lens. We have disconnected the air tubing that comes with the machine and added an auxiliary tube that runs straight to an air regulator. Our wood choice here is cherry. It is 0 0.046 inches shy of one inch, 24.46 millimeters or something like that. So it's a rather large chunk of cherry. You see my air tube, I run it through the side and I run straight over to a regulator. We're going to start today with 40 PSI. On our cut, our settings are going to be 4 millimeters a second with 80% power. As we can see, air pressure is on holding at 40. Move over here and send it to the laser. Okay, so after a few hiccups, we're doing the same thing. However, now we're at 50 PSI. Ultimately, what we're gonna test is the depth of cut. And if the added PSI helps, make it a little bit deeper or not. I'm at my same focal distance, I'm at my same power, same speed, just changing the air pressure each time. Okay, so I am pushing 70 PSI out of that. That might be all I'm going to get. Okay, so I had to make some minor modifications. You'll notice currently I've changed regulators. This is at the end of the line. I wasn't getting anything more than about 70 PSI out of the other one. Uh, this one I've got set at the regulator is what, about 110. However, when I turn it on, I'm reading a little under 80, so probably about 75 PSI. I I have to walk over my cords. Out of this quarter inch tubing, I think the max pressure you'll ever get out of it is 75 PSI, give or take. Well, granted, I've got half inch pecs run to a small regulator. Maybe the bigger the regulator, the bigger the hose, it would change it. But no matter what, you're reducing it down to a quarter of an inch. Okay, just got back from the table saw, cutting it in half. Uh, we'll start with what we see here. This is the 40 PSI. You can see this is 40, 50, 60, 75. 
So what I'm seeing is pretty much all the cuts look generally the same. You can see where it's wider at the top of the cut and then progressively gets narrow. This is because of the focal length on the four inch head. You get a longer cut. However, once it passes its specific focal point, it starts to widen out a little bit and change. And you can see how it's changed there. I think the next experiment we'll try is just keeping the same PSI, same speed, same power, and then adjusting the focal distance. This one was set at 10.5, which is exactly what American Photonics requires. You can see the backside, they pretty much all cut through. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. If not, no big deal. I hope you all have a great day and have learned something.